Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm OP and in today's episode we'll be going over some of the best highlights from today's LPL 2024 Spring Split matchup. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the action. Red buff Graves very very strong, picks up those Krugs. And because he spent so much time in the enemy jungle, you might not expect him being there. He's used his quick draw. He does have smoke now. screen. Can they get the big CC combo though? Life has flash. Can look for the hook. The handshake misses and the last embrace doesn't. And that means it's a very dead Renata who can bail herself out briefly, but there's just no, nothing to be done. No loan available from the bank. She can't do that because she's level two. She doesn't have level three. Difficult position with everyone roaming up here. There's no one available to save him. Care Scott got a teleport. This looks like a very dead Jace to me. Milky Way is roaming. I just don't think he's gonna get here in time. Oh, he doesn't have a flash. You can't get out with a lot of your abilities. Here comes the ults. Ooh, the skies come falling down and Yukal helps claim a kill there as Jace put to a very swift and early grave. Yukal is... Um, that siege is gonna be so obnoxious later. Just so, so obnoxious. So, now we've got TT potentially looking to get themselves out of dodge. You don't walk into the cage. Shotro taking some damage. Cage is down. Lays it flash over oh. the wall for the cleanse from Doctor after the chains of corruption land. They're gonna blow up the Vagar immediately. Shallow who now in a dangerous position. The dawning shadow comes through, but it's too little too late. The oh, damage the back is pretty good around. as the collateral damage comes flying across. The handshake onto life is pretty good. Hoya now trying to back away. It becomes a one for two. The problem is that the turnaround damage and the consistent DPS from double AD carries is still pretty scary from FBX. So Thunder Talk can't really sit around. This is gonna be a might buff for them. Important stuff. TV. So teleport back in. We are continuing to there fight, folks. Yukal is here. I don't know how much he's going to be able to do here without the he sky. Cares in a dangerous position now. Remember, they've got any flash. Has thrown out the pro metal burst. <gasps> no, Patron. Now lands in a difficult position. Could look to get over the wall, but he cannot. So they will claim one. But that was an unfortunate keeper's verdict. Especially since Yukal has his ult as well. No, it's not the sky's descent, but just hitting the center of it could have been such. To contest this dragon, they've already claimed the first one of the FPX, but it is Doc down the Milky Way that's starting this one up, and Graves exactly shy at taking dragons, that's for sure. Thunder Talk are now looking to come and contest, though. Yeah, so Poppy ult, who's it gonna hit? No, no one, and he gets hit cage. by the cage. Fantastic work, they will now manage to secure that dragon. The hostile takeover is good, and Yukal flying over the wall with the astral flight, doing so much work, the damage back is the skies once again descend they'll claim life but the damage back is now pretty good as the teleport's coming flying on in the last embrace comes on through care now in a dangerous position Hoya oh, yeah. on the backside of this one looking to be problematic the bailout not going to come on through the Aurelian sold down but already done a lot of the damage Shalahu missing the shock blast on the other side dangerous looking to try and get a kill onto Hoya so the top laners get traded the final auto with the blue Still going to go down as the final order when the shotgun comes on through. Destiny is a call-in. Milky Way to back away. Does not have smite available, so can't really heal off this. Would love to claim the blue buff if they can. Beige one onto the poppy. Will manage to heroic charge forwards to claim out Vagar. About the rest of the trade, it's been a relatively even fight so far. The hook goes wide. Teleports can maybe start to come flying through from care if it goes on that long. The slows from the center, really obnoxious. Life can look for a hook. Beige one needs to think about that steadfast presence. Will not be forced to pop it again. Oh. Oh, man. get the dragon, but the fight is a bit of a mess. Where do we even start with that one? Surely we'll have a re out of threat range, but did have to pop the dominance. So, another fight coming through. Bei Chuan into the enemy jungle, gets on top of Milky Way. Oh, that's a lot of damage. A flash on forwards from Hoya helps secure that one, and Milky Way goes down, even with the Dawning Shadow coming on through the jungle. They made poke comps so much easier to execute. Yeah, true. Because you just didn't miss. It was so much easier to set things up, and now Shalahu being jumped on. Yukal teleporting in. Oh, this Aurelian Soul is an absolute menace. The knockback comes through from the Thundering Blow to no avail. Hoya survives the empowered shock blast. Yukal teleports to claim the turret as well, and this mid laner has been so be a point for them. That's partly why he was sticking around, not expecting the setup from Thunder Talk in a weird space, but now uh, actually one huge shove and catch onto one XN. They throw down the hostile takeover, but that Nautilus is way tankier than you think. They tried to play for the tower with the Herald shove and Punish is right there. Base one now to flash away. Gets knocked out of the Keeper's Verdict. Bailed out to no avail. Goes down the jungler dead as well. And FPX. Mark the spot. Mark the kills. And move over to Dragon to claim Soul Point. Oh, huge mistake from 1XN. He walks up beyond the minion wave and just doesn't see people running at him. He has flash. He gets hit by the hook anyway. And the AD carry, which I've had so much praise for, is really the architect of TT's demise in that play. It's Soul Point. It's a failed Herald play. TT, they were in a controlling position in that mid lane. But because of the mistake of their AD carry, FPX find their way into a massive power play. Hoya might even be getting collapsed on, on the bot side. There's four members coming. There's no way for Yukal to get over. He doesn't have the teleport this time. So it's just 
A bit of returning the favor from last time. The cage comes on down, trying to knock him into it. Senna claims the kill, and the turret falls after. Remember, they've got five grubs as well, so the shove, oh. very swift indeed. Milky Way, really sad. Mountain Soul is always a bit of a poke comp killer. Cho Cho now in a dangerous position, gets hit with a baleful strike and a primordial burst. Bailed out briefly, and actually the kill is donated over to Shaolahu. Shallow who happily takes that gold. So, FPX walking towards the top side of the team. That could potentially help him a lot. I don't think Zonia's is that helped versus Vega because oh, no. he just gets another cage versus you. Anyway, see a hook landing onto Chocho. Oh, that's a big one. And especially if he goes down, we'll try and get bailed out. Does so. They've not managed to bail him out actually until just now because life dies to the skies come crashing down on his face. Milky Way, can't stand up to that one. Uh, uh, so what are you going to do against the guy who made the heavens? Looking at Beige One, getting jumped on by get Milky into Way. River? I just don't, that's the problem. Is Milky Way is charging to a wall now. The damage on the other side is massive. The Dawning Shadow comes across. Oh yeah, just about alive. We'll wet to pop the Dominus. The kill back onto life. Now the damage on the Beige One, just get the knock into the wall, but he's still going to go down, flashing over the wall. So maybe he does it. Ooh, the sky stun. Oh, sorry, the... Uh, the it doesn't matter right now. The Heavens Fall does a fair amount of work as the Dragon goes down. is secured. That's Mountain Soul for FPX. Get to back away. Yukal will start to Astral Flight away. Remember, there's still the man advantage right now for Thunder Talk. There's no teleport available for life until 18 seconds when he respawns. And they are being corralled away from their own side of the map. Flash across from Hoya, who does get exhausted. Care staying alive. That is a pretty big deal. Reminder, the health bars from Thunder Talk so low. They need to think about backing away. So, Mountain Soul for FPX, big victory for them. TT, despite the fact that they have, again, this godly, powerful UKL. What can they do with their teleport in? It's oh, it's life, he has flash, it's probably one kill. I don't think they get more than that. They get that one, but that the health bar's also low. I think that FPX can just... I think they can. I mean, do you have teleports near the side? And Cho Cho oh. dies from a shock blast. Two dead. It's not even going to be just Baron going over. It's mid lane out of turret. It's going to be Baron after that point, and... <clears throat> Despite the fact that TT have, at points in this game, had real points of power, they have just misplayed the big fights around mid lane and going in towards the Dragon Pip. Dragon going down, Beitran has his ult, he might be able to spin it up and knock someone away, but he's stunned by the cage on the edge of it and goes down. Dead to right, still no access to that Sky's Descent, still just the Falling Star, it's not even off cooldown yet, Care is low, so it could potentially fall down here, FPX still on this Baron, there's still no Beitran, so it's 1xN and Yukal against the world, and that is a scary pair, don't get me wrong, it's too little, it's too late, Doctown now running away. The Singularity comes through, but they're not going to be able to stop any of the resets as I yet. I if Yukal can get his ults, he's not going to quite be able to dodge out in the W. You know that Vegas technically actually kind of a good guy? Like, he tries to be evil, he's just like... He's not very good at it. He's not very good at being evil, really. Hoya uses the slice and dice, yeah, doesn't have the slow. Ooh, from the, from the Rhylize, it's pretty good. The damage on the Shallow, who is big, will get the kill. Hoya desperately loaned up and not down. How many times have we seen that versus the Jace this game? The problem is, once again, the HP bars are brutally low, and Yukal has to leave, so the turnaround immediately comes on through and Poppy pays for the sins of their team. FPX once again just having better tilts. Oh, he walks back into the hostile takeover. Did manage to get healed, of course, by the center Q. The piercing darkness keeping him alive. Milky Way just about okay, but now you can't come over the wall. Trying to get over, but there's a cage. Flash forward for the autos. Forces you got to get out himself. Is bailed out, but to no avail. Does go down two kills to FPX. And they can begin to siege further into this base. Oh, and the Star Forger taken down by one of his creations. The Milky Way coming out on top of that one. Seven, one, and three on his graves. Milky Way has not been been the main character of this game in the way that we've known him to be in previous ones. I really feel like it's been an ensemble effort of FPX with the full composition, making it so hard for TT to stand and fight. Ensemble though has fed him seven kills, and that means when Yukal tries to pick off the low pile from Milky Way, a cage from Karen, a flash for an end of the line, spells disaster for Thunder Talk Gaming. The FPX train once again has <laughs> left the station. They'll win game one. They'll do so with a flurry of kills and DPS. They are game one's victors. FPX setting themselves up nicely for what potentially could be a top four finish. They win this series and then they wait on the results of NIP versus top esports. Match what Milky Way did last game, which was just get very far ahead individually in the jungle. Was up a lot of CS, was up a lot of those kills. Brand still probably the fastest clearing jungler to the other side of the jungle. Is he looking to lane swap? Uh, this is looking a little bit like a lane swap. It is. So it's an early invade. Milky Way. Milky Way started. Raps is just gonna die. He didn't know the warp was there. They just come straight on over base one, and Chocho -cho picked that one up. And the wild early game. Oh, oh. 
Bates yeah, one, wait, 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 wait. Can Bates, Bates one just walk Flashy. out of lane? He, can, he kills it. He 100% kills. Shalahoot's just going to die. Flash E and a Q will do the work. <laughs> and it's another kill. And Thunder Talk managed to catch FPX well and truly off guard. Well, if FPX were lightning in game one, I guess that means game two is time for the thunder that comes afterwards. They start this game so, so well. Lane swap, which gets good value out of kills. Thing is, you've got, wait, what's happening? We need to see what's happening on the bot side of the map, really. We can see that life is left alone oh, versus boy, Hoya. two level they're ones. Uh, they're, well, there's Shallow who with a little bit of extra damage, but you got the passive from Brand starting to rail over now. Ooh, Shallow who takes a lot of damage. Of course, that damage happens from outside of Tower Aggro. They flash on forward, so they're decent charge back. But there's, again, Chocho's not the one with Tower Aggro. Dock down now doing some work as Yukal in the mid lane being engaged onto. Nowhere really to go. We'll get a root down. That's not going to keep him alive, I don't think. A final auto does it. And Milky Way does get one back. Towards the top, let me go with Dockdown healed up a lot. The HP bars are so desperately low. They get another kill as Dockdown manages to punish. Come as the AD carry because it's the Nautilus that farming. He is the one that roams top to match the lane swap. That was eventually one of the yeah. the later um, developments in the lane swap meta. Was it's just the support that roams to to match the yeah. lane swap, and so the lanes can otherwise remain the same. I mean, folks, basically we have... Whoa, that's a flash forward. That's a big chunk of the dog time. He's taken very low. Shallow who on the backside gets a Hail chunk of onto the likes of 1XM, but the Hail of Arrows allows Chocho to pick the Varus Maokai. In terms of the damage the Varus has and the lockdown that Maokai has to get some good value. Epic's now trying to contest on these grubs. I don't think they have the numbers to do this. Karma's coming backs, over. Though. They've got a lot of damage. Here we go. That's going to be Milky Way engaged on me. So much damage. Chocho's not going to flash. And what extends at half HP? Milky Way's got a shield. It's a disaster for Thunder Talk. The resets came on through to allow for the Dirk to come Dr. through. Hoya, finally here. Dockdown. Knocked through the wall. Flash for the hook goes wide. Leaving base one. Had to back away. Now they can do some more DPS. Yes, they've lost a the center. But Hoya about to get rooted down and dropped into the dirt. Base one desperately low on the other side as you got hop forwards to block a potential hook. And now Milky Way onto Rat. Raptors and FBX right back in it, evening up All the right. kills. All right. Exactly that. FBX. Wait, we're Did fighting again, sir. Dog Dam's around, though. I think it's all a bit of a bait, because look who else is here. The roots come on through, and you cow's in a lot of danger. Still has the flash, though, so should be just fine. Wait, guys, I just realized, you cow didn't even go for teleport. Whoa. He's gone for ignite to be a more aggressive carry. He yeah. tries to go aggressive again. He's punished Chocho -cho getting he's dressed dead. on, and he's just going to burn down. FBX have stabilized so well and begun. Babetron is around here, so Dogdam has to be a little bit careful of trading out into this, but it's just autoing for the slows. they got to know that Dogdam is here now. The acceleration has ult, but such a good ultimate. Oh, Hoya breaks the ankles. And Babetron, double pyroclasm across Shallow Who and Dogdam. This is, uh... Turning into quite the spectacle, folks. So grab your popcorn. Maybe you can get that- Maybe you can get that, uh, that, that kind of dune worm popcorn bucket, because, um... I, I, I don't know where I'm going with that. Just Without the flash, does have the buster shot and the ignite, so it should be just fine. The I, did soul flare did hit. That? No, he still hit it. I think he was expecting potentially a jump backwards. He was trying to catch him in the middle of the air. And there's a buster shot afterwards. Milky Way's coming on over him. But there's no flash, however, on Yukal, which means they can get over the wall with the root. And a final end of the line, and Milky Way picks up a third. And the Q does double damage. Milky Way, he's always had eyes on him. Game one wasn't necessarily about him. It was Care that picked up that player of the game, as you said, between the break as well. TT. They're going towards this bot side river. They don't have their mid laner, nor do they have a teleport should they respawn. Chocho firing the ults. Nature's grasp comes along and they got just out. murder the karma. But now Chocho in a dangerous position. The hook on the other side on to Beituan, who flashes away, but it's into the collateral damage on the back away. The stun is pretty good. The conflagration plus that Q. The Seer doing a fair amount. And play FBX do have to back away. They've got fairly decent extended damage, but with Hoya roaming on down, it's a difficult doctor not knocked into the wall, but gets another two man key. Steal! Burning. They're gonna try and steal away the dragon as Milky Way. Still not done. Trying to get some more damage. Beta one, very low. Milky Way throws down that um, smoke screen to get something back, but they will still fall. Steals the dragon. A two well, for one overall. Actually, I think it's a two for three. As oh, sorry, one for three, because of course. Jojo did get a kill before that, and now top side you can't murder Yellow Who. What your is one. going on? So the damage wasn't quite there to blow up Beijuan that last fight. It got very close. So, don't get me wrong. We've had um, our experts' analysis oh come God. back to us in chat. Turns out, according to our analysis, this is League of Legends. Oh, baby to the sky! It's going shallow. Who comes that comes bringing down the hammer on the heads? But the health bars are so low, so Yukal gets to rocket jump forwards. The dawning shadow comes across, and I think it's a three for two in favor of Thunder Talk. I don't know what's happening anymore. I'm not really sure I knew what was happening in the first place. We started off with a lane swap and an evade. We have just continually fist fought 
after fist for as soon as this game goes on. I really feel like now the damage. I'm gonna play by play this one. The Elks come oh. in. Hoya flashing forwards that doesn't find the wall stun yet again. Here come the big guns. Here oh, comes Yukal jumping fantastic. in. First still comes in. Can he get out? Yes, he can. Whereas Shallow who sadly cannot oh. return the favor. Knocked away. Dog Dam knocked away. Sadly, TT. They can't Milky quite Way. finish up the kills. They've got to be so afraid. Milky Way can start to step on forwards. What a handoff there from this secondary play-by-play. -play. The madness requires more voices yelling. Life now looking for that dread sign. He's got the We keep drive. it going. They missed the cue. The piercing darkness at this point. Huge range from Dogtown. Gets the auto. And FPX. They return from the cinders with a little more HP to work from. Oh, Vene, Vidi, Vici, FPX. They see them. They kill them. And they conquer them around the bot side of the river somehow some way they're gonna get themselves a dragon that's gonna get themselves second of the game on the Hextech rift I really feel like Hoya has tried to make the game changing plays he hasn't quite been able to oh my god oh, god god no! No! <laughs> there's just no surviving Varus give us back our legions if we're gonna talk in Latin let's talk about the great betrayer of the Romans <laughs> I can't do that. The thing is, Hoya. Uh, wait, Doc. 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 Dam. Doc. Dam. No. Uh, <laughs> no. Not like this. He uh, duck, dodge, dips and dies Damned. on that top yeah. side as uh, Doc Ball goes. <laughs> I, look, I'm running out of things to say. Doc. Doc Goose. Doc. Doc Goose is the one who's caught out in this one as Baron now being burned down. TT clean run at this as FPX have been run around the map. Uh, remember the last game? It was one XN getting caught out in the mid lane, then maybe turn this one around. They get knock away on life. It makes it a 3v5. The Baron is gone. And Thunderdome pick off Doctor. We just had no idea. Okay. People were where they were. Uh, real objective. Get some gold spent. Get waves into the right position. Get the dragon. Get these objectives. Uh, Even up oh, yeah. Hoya, you're tanky. Oh, and Beitron. you do have Baytron around here as well. I think they can take this fight. Poppy is really coming. tanky. The people coming away. Milky Way still got the end of the line. So oh my away. god! The damage backwards! Pyroclasm sets them all aflame. You are making Rome references. Welcome to Pompeii! Baytron makes like Vesuvius and murders FPX. I thought Phoenix is... We're supposed to be fine with fire! Not today, they're not as you, Cal. Throwing out a few extra shots. The buster shot, <laughs> FB, uh, Final Fantasy Rebound. Killable. And FPX, they have to find themselves another reincarnation as it feels like game two at this point with big gold. Oh, oh no! no. Life. Oh, life. Well, actually, he's the weapon attacking there. Maybe it's a return of the favor! The damage back is good. Chocho needs to go away. He is trying to survive and they die. It's a one for none. But reminder, that's Dragon alive. They run. No flash, no ultimate. Where are the ults from, TT? They don't have the marker. Yeah, behind. See, care. Going over. Oh, what can boy. he do here? One mantra Q left. He's seen <laughs> it! That's massive damage. And now they can begin the fight with the man advantage of the health bars to their name. Fun blood. Phoenix fly like the phoenixes they are! It's season 8 all over again! The reincarnation came a little bit sooner than I was expecting. I was expecting another uh, Attributed to Caesar through Shakespeare. Cry havoc and let slip the dogs of war. They have been off the chain. Ave, the Caesar, the standard rises Flash. again. Staggering blow onto page one into the depths, into the uh, dawning shadow. But now actually the turnaround is huge and they don't get over to finish him. Now life's in danger. Oh, dredge line the wall and not the one he was looking for. They can't find the kill, and now FPX down here tonight, but that is a big ultimate to be missing. So much of the pick is off 1XN's ult. There we go. Dawning Shadow spot out the Baron start. The Leandri's on the brand means as well. Go down fast, Jojo down. Down to about half HP. Big knock away! That's the jungler! That's the jungler! That means the Baron now secured. What about the fight after Toya goes charging on Beach forwards? Beachwan doing some work. Care though, still alive! Jojo burned down to a crisp as FPX begin to fire backwards. Beachwan with the last embrace! That's huge! The massive use of the shirt smoke screen afterwards means he has no vision for anything. Brand blinded by his own element. Shallow who though on the other side, taken down by Yukal, who gets to buy the, to get the buster shot onto the Jace. Breathe for a second. The fight can continue. What about Dogtown? Can he heal people up? Yukal hopping forwards. The slow from the Mantra Q. The soul flare onto Hoya. Who's trying to buy space and time will not survive. Cannot kill Care. Who flashes Milky out Way! Right Milky Way burns down Yukal. And Dogtown gets another auto. This center range. Too much for one extent to 
handle the hail of arrows will buy some space. Two? Can look for the queue. Will not manage to make it happen. Will instead try to queue through the wolves. <laughs> 1xn survives, but FBX win the fight. The Baron largely denied. So TT have one Baron buff left. FBX will get themselves Soul, and I know that the Eagle Standard was the thing of the Romans. Maybe replace that with a Phoenix for this one. They are looking Imperial all the same when they get around to has ult. It's ranked two right. this time, so a little bit more damage. Let's see if you can pull it here. Trying to corral them. They're gonna land the last embrace. The nature's on grasp comes on through. Doesn't get as much value as they're hoping. Huge damage though onto Care, who's still alive because defiance! Pull us the quick blue! The damage from the pirate class, but passive though! Brand does work this time! And they'll get three! Now Milky Wave needs to run away in the Baron. Well, it was already kind of denied, but even with the Hexol, Thunder Talk find three, and that's massive. Milky Way not able to reset, so often, they can shut through mid. So often Hexol has been game ending. I don't think it will be in this case though. FPX, the first time crossing back. the Rubicon, it feels like, and they have been stopped. Oh, no. Senna can go for a reset. I don't know if Milky Way can get back in time. They're gonna try. This is gonna be pretty tight. There are five grubs helping take down the turrets. Milky Way back. Now, pretty much one of the second pillar of flame. Time is gonna be close. Oh my days! The next is exposed. I think they've done it. Thunder talk. Win the game. What? Have like a uh, really good kick value if he just flashes forwards. You've got the Nordless with point and click, got Renekton with point and click, and that means that the Senna, the Ari, and the Lee Sin, who are all quite conditional damage champions, whether they hit their own an Orn, a Cassante, something along those lines. So. Ooh, handshake forces the cleanse. Ouch again. Bot lane laning phase. Don't like this Senna here. Cap can potentially have. Nah, he'll, he'll be fine. Might need to flash out of the QW. Close run stuff. Flash. Good charm! Does a lot of work back onto you, Cal! And I just see the joy on Nymera's face. That's great, oh, Ari turn around. That's the one. No minions under that turret. You can keep all inning him. And you, Cal, he's outvalued Care. Care goes back onto his main champion, gets a crucial first blood, gets a lost chapter early on as well. That was really sure up his laning phase. Hoya left alone and top side, potentially cross map towards bot lane. We could end up with a double tower dive happening. Flash. Darkdown flashing away though, keeps people locked on the turret. Not so much damage back! Two tower dives cause two damages to the side of Thunder Talk. So much done against them. Big damage onto Shallow, who was looking for a trade back. That grass proc doing a lot of work on Hoya. Actually, with of course that passive on the W, will meet. He's actually behind Cho Cho at the minute. Of course, he's effectively playing pseudo support at this point, so. To be a little bit aware of the level. Milky Way is around though. Depth charge on in. 1XM flashing and cleansing away. The chains of corruption back bow means so much damage. They're going to try and throw this back around though. Goes on in with the Q2. We'll get that one down. A final Ooh. auto would get it and cannot no. get huge amounts from either of them outside Next of some good anti tower dives. This Next moment. Might come through. Dragon up. Big flashes available. Q misses. Page one side steps up now in a spot of bother as the last embrace comes on through with the teleports back. Means life's Double now teleport. in danger. The chains of corruption go wide. Life's dangerous as it's a decent charm though. The base one is taken very low. Look at Dogman flashing away from the cask. Bailout. Class, but the bailout keeps Bait one alive. Care in a dangerous position. Renekton cannot join, has no teleport, and that meant it was a 4v5. Uh, they can't quite get away with a one for one. Milky Way has ult. Can he get a kill through? I don't think he can. He might just get Milky burst Way. out. The spiraling despair comes on through. Now they can teleport back because it's Care. And now what about the no, turnaround? It's life. good. Dogtown so desperately low. And it means that Turn to Talk win out pretty huge here in this fight. Yeah, so it's not care that teleports in, it's life. They're running triple teleport because they have that Senna Nautilus. It does mean, though, with three grubs, FBX are pushing in mid and top lane. It's going to be Dragon for uh, tower plates on the other side of it. So gold in pocket for FPX life. For you know, Terminus on Varus is a big thing, too. He often goes for Rage Blade second because it applies to his W so, so effectively. But still, two, three items. I think FPX are going to find it hellish to get to these carries. FPX need to find fights before that. TT want to stall. And maybe just use the fact that they have two early dragons to make sure that FPX aren't going to uh, get themselves an early soul to keep them in the game. Yeah, I think that's probably a fair point. No, from you. Even having the ultimate from Varus thrown in, they, they still have that available. They still have the Renato. Huge misplay from Doctor. What on earth managed to CC him now? He didn't quite spot it. But either way, Dragon Starters would still be soul point. The handshake onto life. Hoya on the other side. Look at Dagdam so low. He gets in! Milky Way steals it! Unbelievable! How has he done it again? Forces Yukal down to Shallow who flashes after the kick target. It's two for one in favor of FPX who just get away with the heist of the century. And this dragon fight was where so much was going to come to a head. It's while FPX was still in their point of power before. The lead gets to extend actually a massive CS lead if nothing else in the mid lane as well. Care They're quietly getting a long, long way ahead. Part of that is just because FPX can't. Oh, here we go. Ooh. Here's the angle. Part of that is just landing charms like that as well. Massive yeah. moment. And of course, not quite when Baron has spawned, but with the man advantage, they can look to 
Not really. TT have no idea this is going down on spawn. And again, it's not the, it, the fastest bang, but it's very healthy when you've got so much healing and so much sustain. This could be really problematic. And you have the Leandries, which increases your speed there. You have everyone coming up. And now no, they no. realize too late. Are we going to get teleports? I don't think they'd matter in time. TT seed the Baron. We said that this is where the flames would get turned up. That's an objective bounty, but... It's going to cost them a lot of turrets on the bot side. The inhibitor turret falls and the inhibitor too, but I'm not sure where the Thunder Talk could realistically have defended it in the first place. Yeah, that's the that's what you're asking, right? I mean, if FX just stop at the inhib, likely they would have taken that anyway. Now, if they can take a top lane and an inner turret... Oh, no, oh, Hoya, you can't do Hoya this! Flash for the charm! Oh, the charge, but it's a good poppy ult away. Trying to get some damage back. Can't quite get the kill, but the Dawning Shadow will get one more. Make it two! The recess begin to fly for care. Who is not living up to their own namesake? Because it is absolutely reckless endangerment of the enemy lives of Thunder Talk Gaming. We've been all talk, but cannot walk the wall. They're looking to fall short here in game three. Beishuan getting a heroic charge away, but it's just not another death charge. Sorry, the dredge line going a little wise. And finally, FPX pull away for a moment or two, but the damage is done. Look, if you're going to cross map and get yourselves these objective bounties on towers, you have to back off on the other side. Tanks. Oh, I, I remember know. the Mantas being the huge flying dropships. I yeah, can't remember cool. the big ones. They were really expensive as well. Yeah, but um, anyway... They're really cool, whereas Care, oh, he is cool as a no. cucumber. Look how slick that combo is. Oh, Yukal immediately flashing away, but there's a death charge afterwards alongside the Dawning Shadow. Gives a reset for Care, who's on the wrong end of a spiraling despair, but to what avail? The knockaway is pretty good for the Keeper's Vertimies. Care does go down. Over the wall goes Milky Way, but the damage in some ways is already done. Look at the health bars. They're non-existent. It's only a one for one in the end. Pick their way through enemy territory. These bushes are not kind to them. They're whispering their demise. Flank on the horizon. There's multiple flanks as well, because look who else is looking for an angle. It's Kerry goes over the wall, finding another good angle. Gets one XN as well. What a phenomenal charm. Life now, but Milky Way finds a third flank. There's always more A's into the back line from FBX, who incinerate Thunder Talk Gaming, grounded the lightning rods of FBX, bring them down to earth. Double teleport into the base, and that will do it. Thunder Talk could not do the Thunder Walk. Fun plus Phoenix. It takes a couple of incarnations. They lose a Nexus, but they will put themselves to 11 and 5 after being a team that no one expected to be here. This was meant to be a bottom tier team. They are anything but that. They are well on their way to securing themselves a top four finish in this regular season. Something about... Chinese. These were some of the best highlights from today's LPL 2024 Spring Split matchup. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.